Hey, are you looking to extract some text information from your PDFs and your images? Well, in this video, we're going to show you how you can automate that with Google Drive, NAN, and some AI capabilities. Now, how do I use it? Well, I use it for budgeting. I hate manually recording all my transactions, every coffee I make on, uh, on paper, or on mobile app. Since all my spending is digital anyways, I was thinking maybe I can just extract all the transactions from my statements, PDF statements, and also screenshots of my uh, mobile paying apps, right? What if I can extract all those transactions and then import them into my favorite budgeting software? And that's what I do every month. So this is the workflow uh, of how it works in N8N. So we set up a Google Drive, and whenever you upload something to Google Drive, like your PDF bank statement or an image screenshot of your transaction, uh, it'll go into the router and it'll determine, oh, is it an image or is it a PDF? If it's a PDF, then just extract it from the PDF, right? Send it to AI and then export it as a CSV and then upload it back to your Google Drive. If it's an image, well, you need to run it through Vertex AI, which is Google's image recognition, and then extract the data and go into Google Drive. So we're going to go through both examples. I'm going to start with the image and then go from there. Now, before I start, I think the most troublesome part uh, is actually setting up the Google Drive. Now, if you go into NAN, you can double click. You need to set up your credentials and then in there, you can open Docs and you'll see how to set up a Google Cloud service uh, connection. And I'll run this with you briefly. Uh, you need to set up a Google Cloud. And one of the things you need to do is you need to come to this AB API library and you have to enable Google Drive. So you have to search for Google Drive. Click in here. And then you should see enable. So click on enable so then it's enabled then you need to go to your api and services and create a new service account uh, i'm not going to go through that in this tutorial there's other tutorials out there but what you should get is something like this right some sort of g service account then uh, what you need to do is put in your service account and your private key that's generated then you can start connecting to google drive so the good news is this is the most time consuming part. And then once you plug this in, you're basically ready to run the rest of your workflow. So here you see that uh, I set up a Google Drive. It's called uh, Actual Budget, which is a software I use. And this is the folder where if I upload anything, it will start the workflow. A uh, small thing I need to share is in order for NAN to access it, you need to come to share and you got to add that account, G service account email that we had earlier, uh, and then add it there so then N8N can have access to it. All right, let's start with an image. So here I have a screenshot of all my expenditures, and I don't want to, you know, record it, and somehow this banking app doesn't allow me to export it as CSV. So what do I do? Well, it's really simple. I just take the image, and I drag and drop into my Google folder. Now, what it's gonna do, it's listening for an uploaded file. All right, so the process has started. It's recognized as image, and then it's going to run. So if you come into executions, you're gonna be able to see it. All right, so you you can see that it goes in here. It's looking for this folder that we specify. Uh, it's watching for when file is created. It's found the image. It's routing the image, right? It's checking is it equal to a PDF or is it equal to an image? And correctly, it's identified that it's going there and then it's sending into Vertex AI, right? And then I have a prompt here that says, you. Are, let's check out the prompt. You're given a screenshot of payment transaction, read the image and export all the transactions to CSV. You know, and I add, I said, you know, add in a column and give it a name. So that's what it does. And then it returns the output. Now you can do this. You can change your prompt and it doesn't have to be bank statement, right? If you have other images with other stuff, just change your prompt to extract the information that you want. It has a CSV and then 
it uploads to a different folder and let's check the folder so this just got generated and let's download it to see what's inside that so you see that it's turned all the transactions into a CSV format that I can easily export into my budgeting software so this works for image recognition and I just want to show you what we're using we're basically using Google vertex uh, you need to sign up an account here and this is different from all the LLMs all the other LLMs like ChatGPT, uh, Claude they don't accept image as your input so in this case we have to use vertex uh, inside our workflow and you have to attach this uh, Gemini chat model in order to call vertex now let's do the PDF I have a PDF of all the transactions I have and let's plug it in right so I have a bank statement PDF plug it in and it should run the same process this time I don't use vertex uh, in all my other videos I talk about how you can use free LLMs to save yourself money so in this case we're using open router and we're using llama and this works because you know it's not rocket science I don't need it to write uh, amazing blog posts this is just simply extracting information so it's actually a great use case for a free LLM again you give it a back statement read the PDF and export all the transactions so you can modify this you have any other type of PDF it's not a bank statement you can modify the prompt to give you what you want now let's go back into uh, so this one's successful as well it's running through the correct route and let's check our export so there it is and let's download it and take a look And there you have it all the transactions uh, listed out in a CSV format now, now you can import this into your favorite uh, uh, budgeting software so this is how you actually do this and if you like this video please like subscribe uh, I'll appreciate it very much and don't worry you don't need to build all this yourself this entire workflow uh, is available to you for free I'm gonna leave the download link uh, in the description below go downstairs uh, download the workflow and use it for yourself. So I hope you enjoy this. Thank you very much.